everyone, this is Sathara at Ring, and I'm here to answer what outdoor cameras Ring has. So, we have a lot of great options. We have ones that are battery powered, we have ones that are hardwired, we have ones with extra lights. We have a lot of great options for you, so let's get into it. So, the first security camera I want to talk to you about is our floodlight cam, which is actually one of our most popular products, and I think a really cool piece. So, it's very customizable. It has two external lights and the camera in the center and the lights you can adjust to move up or down whatever best fits your needs. And the camera you can rotate accordingly as well, so you can get the best view for whatever you're trying to see. It does require a hardwired connection and a junction box, and specifically, if you have an existing light fixture, it's perfect. So if you have a floodlight that you wanna swap out to upgrade to a floodlight cam, it would be perfect. If you don't have one, you do need to install a junction box, so we would recommend getting a licensed electrician if you're not comfortable with advanced DIY. Some other really cool facts about our Ring floodlight cam is we have a 270 degree range of motion for the motion detection for the lights, and the camera has 140 degrees horizontal field of view with customizable motion zones. It also has a remote activated siren. My friend loves it. She has had the same floodlights on her house for the last 20 years and she's been able to swap them out for the Ring floodlight cam so it's been an added source of security because she has both of her lights and her camera. The next security cameras I want to talk to you about are our spotlight cams. Unlike our floodlight, the lights are actually built into the same frame as the camera and they're very versatile. They come with multiple different wired options and they can fit almost every situation around your home. I actually have all spotlight cams around my house. So between the spotlight cams, you can choose between the mount, the wired, the battery, and the solar. So the first one I wanna talk about is a spotlight cam mount. It's very similar to our floodlight cam where it does require a junction box connection. That being said, it does allow a little bit of customization. Um, we have three different included brackets that you can use to put in whatever direction that suits you. So for example, if you want it on the side of your house, you can have a very direct turn to make sure that you capture that exact tiny little narrow space. The next camera I want to talk to you about is our Spotlight Cam Wired. It has a 20 foot cord and plugs into a standard outlet. I actually have this all over my house. I have it in my front yard, my backyard, and on my driveway. Like our mount, it has advanced motion detection and customizable motion zones. The next camera I want to talk about is the Ring Spotlight Cam Battery. This is a really easy device because it's battery powered and it can go anywhere since it doesn't require a hardwired connection. It also has our standard quick release batteries and space for two. So that way, when this battery dies, the other one will kick in and power your device. So our next device is our Spotlight Cam Solar. It is our Spotlight Cam battery with an additional solar panel to help keep your batteries charged. To connect the solar panel to the Spotlight Cam battery, you just need to plug it in. We do recommend that you keep your solar panel in direct sunlight if possible. So all of our cameras come with 1080p HD, night vision, two-way talk, and live view. So let's check out my Spotlight Cam in my backyard. Tap in and then I'm just going to live view. And here you can see my backyard. If I wanted to use my remote activated siren or manually turn on my lights, I would press this icon for the lights, this one for the siren. To activate two-way talk, I simply press the green phone button, talk to whoever's in my backyard, and then to end the call, I just press the red icon. So I'm going to show you how to set up a customizable motion zone. You go into motion settings, and then you select motion zones. And here, you can see the view of your backyard. To add a motion zone, you just select it and drag to whatever area you want to make sure that you get your motion detected in. You can set up multiple motion zones, and it's important that you set up a motion zone to make sure that you get motion alerts. Our next suite of cameras are the stick-up cams. They're very versatile cameras for both indoor and outdoor, especially if you don't need the extra lights. They have multiple power sources. You can either plug them in, battery, or solar. And we have the stick-up cam elite, which is power over ethernet. All of our cameras have up to 1080p HD, night vision, two-way talk, and live view. 
Our first camera is our Stick Up Cam plugin. It comes with both convenient adapters for both outdoor and indoor. And if you want backup power, you can add one of our quick release batteries. That way, if you lose power, you always have a backup. Also, you can easily mount it or put it on a flat surface like a tabletop or a bookshelf. Our Stick Em Cam battery is very convenient. All you have to do is use one of our quick release batteries and set it wherever you would like. You can put it on a flat surface, you can mount it, and you can move it around wherever you want to record. I personally really like to use it for my other home security system, my dog Jasmine. Speaking of Jasmine, let's take a cute animal break and check out my Jazzy Cam. As you can see, she's hard at work. Our Stick Up Cam Solar is our battery powered device with an additional solar panel to keep your device charged. To attach, you remove the tab and you insert like such and now they're connected. We do recommend that you put your solar panel with lots of direct sunlight. The Stick Up Cam Elite is a great option if you have a PoE or a power over ethernet connection. So you have continuous internet connectivity and power. So, to utilize, you move this very nifty swivel, open the back, plug in your ethernet cord, and then plug in the other to our adapter. Then you plug another ethernet cord into your internet modem, your ethernet hub, or your ethernet switch. So thanks for tuning in. I hope that answers all of your questions on what Outdoor Cameras Ring offers. If you have any other questions, just drop it in the comments and we'll try to get to it in the next episode of Ask Ring. See you guys soon.